I'm trying to bundle a product that is sold separately on Amazon. Do I need to buy a UPC in order to list this bundle? It has one main item and two additional ones, so three in total. So um, let's say this is, I mean, I'm assuming this is your product that you are selling on Amazon already. Um, so you have a product that you're selling on Amazon. Now you want to uh, create a bundle um, with two additional products that you are selling on Amazon. Uh, I'm assuming that's the situation. So you have basically three products available that you want to be able to sell as a bundle. Um, no, you don't have to get a UPC for that. It depends how you do it. If you want to sell them um, where you bundle them and send them into Amazon as a you know a packaged you know bundled product, uh, it would need its own UPC code, yes. Um, but Amazon has virtual bundles where they will allow you to say, you know, I, I want to have one of these and one of these and two of these in a bundle. And um, then you create a, a, a listing. It's a virtual listing. Uh, it's a virtual bundle on Amazon. It does need its own UPC code. It does not use its uh, or need its own UPC code. And um, uh, it's it's a pretty um, pretty simple process. There's a couple of restrictions on it. One, you can only have up to five items in a bundle, and it has to have at least two different products. So you can't make you know you can't make a bundle that's basically just three of this one product, right? right. It has to have at least two products. Um, but yeah, you can have you know one of these and four of these, one of these and three of these, um, or you know any combination of more than of at least two products where you have a, a you know, um, yeah, this bundle. variations. This bundle. Yeah, and one, one uh, interesting factor is when you create virtual bundles, um, there's a couple benefits to it. So obviously you're getting another, you know, more real estate on Amazon, right? You're having now another uh, spot that's being taken up by that, by that bundle. Um, but you also get them um, listed below that product. So let's say you have if you're going to create multiple variations of this, right? You have product A, B, and C, and now you have product A and B, product A and C, um, and you can create other variations. When you create those, they show up below your listing, right? So you'll you'll have these kind of things that are taking up uh, bundles that that use this product exactly, and right. they and they kind of show as as additional things below your listing, which helps uh, kind of take up more real estate. Um, and then interestingly enough is when you create more and more of these, you can kind of, uh, they, they have a, a seniority of how they show up on the listing. So um, the, the first product of the bundle is going to show up uh, for that product. So you have to think if you're, if you're doing, a, um, you know, if you're trying to intermingle five different products and different variations of all five of them, um, think with, you know, which one's first and, and you'll see how it shows up there and you can play with that. So um, definitely a good idea. Definitely, uh, you know, helps kind of, Get you more exposure and um, yeah, yeah. But but the the virtual listing itself, I mean, you know, will start getting reviews and all of that as well, and, and and it has its own sales metrics and all that. So yeah, it's a it's a very powerful and um, pretty easy process to use. Yep.